Today we're going to be looking at three suspected serial killers who were caught in 2021. We're going to include some graphic details some may find disturbing, so discretion is advised. And before we start, if you're interested in stories from the dark side of life, please remember to like and subscribe so that you can be the first to be informed of any future videos. Okay, let's go. The first suspected serial killer in today's video managed to kill six people in the space of only two months, September and October of 2021. Although he's known as the St. Louis serial killer, the murderer is also suspected as having operated in the neighbouring state of Kansas, where he claimed his two final victims. However prolific the murderer may be, his rampage may be coming to an abrupt end. You see, the month following the two murders in Kansas, a suspect was arrested. On November the 6th, 2021, Perez Reed was initially charged with two murders. However, two days later, on the 8th of November, two additional murders were added to his charges. All four of these murders took place in the state of Kansas. However, when detectives from St. Louis examined the methods used in the Kansas murders, they realised that two of their own sol unsolved murder cases bared eerie similarities to the cases with which Reed has been charged. Therefore, they believe him to be responsible for these two murders, and they were also added to his charges. So that's six murders now for which Reed is suspected as having been the perpetrator. So how are all six of these murders similar? Well, all of the victims were shot in the head by their assailant with a semi-automatic pistol, and some of them seemingly trusted their eventual killer enough that it was they themselves who invited him in to their homes. Video footage released after two of the murders show the victims with their killers inside their own apartment buildings, and they are seen entering their unit with a male figure who is seemingly always the same person. In all cases, the mystery figure was the last person to see them alive. They would later be discovered dead, their bodies found with gunshot wounds. Although six people have lost their lives to the killer, there are some fortunate individuals who have managed to survive their attacks. The bad news is that at least one of them will suffer from lifelong disabilities as a consequence of their injuries. How much do we know about the suspected killer, Perez Reed? Well, he's 26 years old and lives in St. Louis County, Missouri. To date, his background is a bit of a, a mystery, but what we do know is that it's been highly speculated that Reed's parents were unable to sufficiently care for him when he was a child. And for this reason, from the age of eight, he went to live with his older cousin, who would eventually become his legal guardian. Perez is married, but in July 2021, his wife filed for a divorce. The hearing of this divorce was due to be heard in December of last year, and at the current time of making this video, it's unclear as to whether that divorce was granted. If you can shed any light on this, then please, let us know in the comments. That's as much as we know about his background. But now for the big question. How likely is Perez Reed to be the man responsible for the murders? Well, a female security officer from one of the buildings where a victim was found stated that she had asked a man who was visiting to provide identification upon entering the building. The man provided a driver's licence, and on that licence was the name, you've probably guessed it, Perez Reed. She also noted that the visitor had a crescent moon tattoo on his face, which is a characteristic that can also be seen on Perez Reed. 
So based on these two observations, it's very likely that the police have got their man. Reed is currently being held on a $2 million bond and his trial is due to begin shortly. I guess by the end of the year, we will finally find out if he has been unmasked as a St. Louis serial killer. Take a look at this photo. What do you see? A successful businessman? A friendly guy with a beaming smile? Well, of course you know from the theme of this video, neither of them are going to be the case. This is Willy Suarez Maceo, and he's been suspected of shooting two people and stabbing another to death in Miami, Florida. Maceo is 25 years old and by all accounts a successful real estate agent who leads a very flashy lifestyle. The photos on his social media boast of fast cars, lucrative crypto investments and luxury home sales. They depict the life of a high achiever rather than the depraved killer that he may be. In stark contrast to the impressions his photos may give, on Thursday the 23rd of December 2021, Maceo was arrested for the murder of a homeless man and the attempted murder of another. He's also highly suspected of being the killer of another homeless person who was stabbed to death in October 2021, but has not yet, at least at the time of this video, been charged for this crime. Okay, so I guess some of you may be thinking, if he's only been charged with one murder, it doesn't really make him a serial killer. And yeah, yeah, you're right. However, Miami police themselves suspect he is a serial killer, with other future as yet identified murders likely to emerge. They just haven't linked him to them yet, or, or possibly not even found the victims but they do think they exist. So who were the victims and what methods were used during the attacks? As previously stated, the victims in the cases for which he's been charged were both homeless men. In December 2021, a black Dodge Charger was seen to pull up beside both of these men at different times and in different locations and the occupant inside shot them from point blank range. Miraculously, the first man to have been shot survived his ordeal and is now making the best recovery you could hope for given the circumstances. Unfortunately, the, the second man wasn't so lucky and he died. So let's rewind and focus on the third case in which Maceo hasn't been charged but is considered a very strong suspect. This was another homeless man who was stabbed to death in October 2021. Again, he was attacked on the streets of Miami by a yet unidentified assailant, and detectives are investigating whether Maceo is linked to this crime. What do you think? Again, let us know in the comments. What evidence is there that suggests Maceo is the perpetrator of these crimes? Well, there's a lot actually. First of all, the footage that shows the Dodge Charger used during the attacks is the same model that is owned by Maceo. And even more incriminatingly is that when you zoom in to the license plate on the footage, it's an exact match for the license plate that's on Maceo's vehicle. So this one piece of evidence alone makes it almost impossible that anybody else could be the perpetrator of the attacks, don't you think? Making the case against Maceo even stronger is that when detectives arrested him, they found a 9mm Glock in the vehicle, and forensic analysis showed that the bullets used in that weapon were an exact match for those found at the crime scenes. So as far as evidence goes, what detectives have so far is pretty damning for Maceo. And remember at the beginning how I mentioned how police suspect that he's possibly 
got more victims. Well, they're asking anyone who may have been attacked by Maseo to come forward, so there may yet be more we learn about him. Until the trial is heard, his guilt, or lack thereof, is yet to be decided. We should know the outcome at the end of this year. Our final serial killer who was caught in 2021 may be responsible for the murders of three people. This is 53-year-old Paul Raymond Apodaca, and he's been charged with one murder, but confessed to two more. And surprisingly, these two murders were murders he'd never been suspected of committing in the first place. Unlike the two other potential serial killers in our previous stories, it took a long time for Apodaca to be apprehended. Decades, actually. The murders were committed 34 years ago, back in 1988. So in that time, there's been plenty of potential for Apodaca to have committed crimes for which he is not yet a suspect. Who were the victims and how were they murdered? Apodaca was initially arrested for the 1988 murder of 21-year-old Althea Oakley. On the evening of June 22nd, Althea had been attending a party and, after having a heated argument with her boyfriend, she begins walking home to her accommodation on the grounds of the University of New Mexico. Unfortunately, it's a journey that's never completed. Later that evening, witnesses hear Althea emit a terrifying scream, and she's later found stabbed to death. Although this is the murder Apodaca was arrested for, it was upon his arrest that he confessed, under no duress, to being responsible for two more cold murder cases. The victims in question were 13-year-old Stella Gonzalez, who was also killed in 1988, and 18-year-old Caitlin Arquette, who was killed in 1989. So what were the circumstances that led to Apodaca's confession? Surprisingly, his initial apprehension had nothing to do with the murders. What happened was that Apodaca had been released from prison earlier in 2021, but was taken in by police for violating the conditions of his probation. It was during this event that he made a shocking revelation to police officers. I am the man responsible for the two murders in these cold cases. And although this confession would go some way to proving his guilt, there's other damning evidence that could also help secure a conviction. Apodaca can be placed to the crime scene of Caitlin's murder. At the time she was shot, witnesses recalled a beetle car being present nearby. And although this beetle was linked to Apodaca even at the time, crazily, he was never questioned by police. They just let it go. Furthermore, Apodaca has also revealed information about the crimes that was never publicly released. So if he wasn't the killer, how would he be able to do this? Surely it's got to be him. Do you agree? I guess we'll find out sometime later this year if he's responsible for these three, or possibly more murders. Let us know what you think in the comments. So those are our three potential serial killers who were arrested in 2021. Do you think any of them are guilty? Do you think any of them may have more victims that we don't know about yet? Please, show your thoughts of us in the comments below. And if you'd like to hear some more grim stories in the future, please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified when new videos go online. Until then.